Not so long after the polio outbreak, health authorities confirm a woman in Tanaw and Batangas has died of meningococcemia. The health department is still validating whether three other deaths involving children are also due to meningococcemia. But doctors say there's no reason to panic. Infectious disease specialist Endymion Tan says meningococcemia is a bacterial infection in the blood. It is not easily transmitted unless there is close contact. Kapag umuubo ka or you're sneezing when we're talking, tapos na inhale ko or nakuha ko tong mga large droplets from you, then I can be infected. But some people may be more exposed to the bacteria. Immunocompromised HIV patients, elderly, siyempre, people living in yung mga close areas like sa prison, military banks, dorms, kids. Okay? Same is true pa rin. Living close spaces, isang may ubo, coughing, sneezing, na to transmit sa iba, hawa-hawa na. Its symptoms usually include high-grade fever, headache, cough, colds, body pain, abdominal pain, sore throat, neck stiffness, and for some, rashes. But since the symptoms are very common, it's not also easy to detect meningococcemia. It takes some lab tests to confirm if a patient has it. Tan says this is also why some cases lead to complications and sometimes death. But Tan says there are available medicines for meningococcemia. Actually, ano, madali lang naman siya i-treat eh, because it is readily available. Best if prevented through vaccine, good hygiene, and good immune system. Eat plenty of vegetables, fruits. It's a lifestyle that's very important. And then, as much as possible, do not go into areas there are so many people where you can get the, the large droplets carrying, uh, carrying the uh, meningococcemia bacteria. This is the way we could really prevent the disease. When in doubt, it's best to consult your doctor. Trisha Trada, CNN, Philippines.